Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with another quick Destiny 2 guide. In this one, I'll be walking you guys through the ritual in case maybe you guys were having trouble figuring out how to actually defeat this boss. Now, I will be doing it on solo, so it will take me a little extra time, but what you need to do to get started is just come down in here into the bottom room. It doesn't matter which side you start on, you can start on either the right or the left. And what you want to do is actually just take out the witch. Now, you're going to most likely have to take out all the other ads along with it in order to stay alive, but just take out the witch, and that's going to be basically the first step in order to get this started. Once the witch is defeated, you want to get as much ammo as you can before you leave. You're going to open up this green portal. The portal will only open once the witch is defeated, so you want to head through there after defeating it. There's going to be some enemies on your right, and there's also going to be enemies on the left, so you want to be careful when you come up here not to get killed by the enemies on the left as well. Once you clear out these two knights, you're going to be able to destroy the crystal in this room. But like the other rooms, you're probably going to have to destroy the other adds as well. So just clear the whole room and then destroy the crystal. I'll show you guys exactly where it is. So once the room is cleared out, there will be a crystal in the center just floating in the sky. You'll only be able to destroy it once the ads are gone, or at least the two knights. So go ahead and destroy that crystal, and then be on the lookout for some thrall that will most likely spawn after destroying that, and you can move on to the next room. Now there will be a shrieker in this room as well, so you really want to be on the lookout for that, and the witch, so you want to take out this entire room as well. After clearing out this room, there will be another crystal, so you want to look in the sky above where that shrieker was, and you should see the crystal once the room's cleared, you'll be able to destroy that. After you come into this next hallway, be careful because there is another shrieker at the end, and also a ton of adds. The only reason I'm warning you is because you cannot respawn, so if you're doing it on solo, it can be kind of annoying. So you're going to come in here, and you're going to have a bunch more adds to clear out. It's just kind of rinse and repeat. You want to destroy the two knights. But after this is where things get tricky and where you may have been getting lost. So I'll show you guys what you need to do. Now once the two knights are gone, you will see the crystal up top. You'll also see a crystal at the bottom, but it's going to have the shield around it still, so you can't do anything about it. What you want to do is actually come over here to this green portal. You're going to activate that by destroying the crystal that was in that room, and you're going to be able to get this void charge. Once you come down, you can take the void charge and actually begin to destroy the crystals that are wrapped around the boss. So you want to just put the void charge in here and destroy the crystal as well. I suggest trying to take out some ads as well get some more ammo because you will be going over to the other side next you're going to come over to the left side or the right side depending on which one you started on and just take out the witch that's over here this is going to again open up another portal to take into the top of the throne and then you can actually continue on with the rest of it Once you have cleared out the bottom room and done ammo again, you can finally go up through the green portal. The portal will only open once the uh, witch is destroyed, but you definitely want to make sure that you have ammo so that when you get up there, 
you can destroy all the enemies that are going to be spawning. So if you head over to the side which you haven't uh, gone through yet, just to take out the witch and then head through the portal. When you get up top, it's going to be pretty similar to the other side, except you're going to be on where the crystals were before that still had the shields around them. So all you have to do is just take out all these enemies again, and then simply destroy the crystal. After this room, you want to head down the hallway. There's actually going to be an ogre down there, so be careful for that because he's pretty strong and can take you out really quickly. And there's also going to be a few more shriekers, so you really want to just take it slow and take out everyone one by one. Just make sure that you do destroy the crystal once you've cleared out the room. Otherwise, it will throw things off and you'll have to try to find it later. But you're going to head down this hallway where the ogre is, and that's why you'll know you're in the right direction. So just keep heading where the enemies are spawning and clear them out as you go. Once you've cleared out all of the enemies, there's going to be one final crystal to destroy and you'll finally be able to get that second void charge. So just make sure you got all the adds and the shrieker in the back corner and you will finally be able to destroy this crystal and you're going to have to go through a specific portal. So this time around, what the portal you want to go through is actually going to be in the back right corner. If you go through the wrong portal, it's okay. You're just going to have to come back up here again. But either way, just go through the top right corner. That's how you're going to get into this void room. It's the only way to get in there. So pick up the void charge and simply do what you did last time. The only thing this time is that you'd want to make sure to do is don't destroy the crystal right away. Instead, this time, there's going to be a wave of adds that spawn. I suggest you take them out before destroying the crystal. That way you don't have the boss and all the adds on you at the same time. And you can also get ammo and super ready for when you actually go and defeat the boss. So just simply clear out all of the adds and then take out the crystal. Once all of the adds are gone, you can take out the crystal and use your super on the boss. Luckily, the boss doesn't have any sort of like 
uh, waves that spawn more ads, it's just going to be a, a full boss fight straight through. So once he's open and ready for damage, you can actually take him out pretty quickly, as long as there's no ads slowing you down. So just go ahead and use your super whenever you want and use all your ammo, and you will finish this pretty quickly. So hopefully this video helped you guys out to figure out how to beat this part of the ritual quest. I know it was a little bit confusing, so if it helps you out, be sure to drop a like down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.